Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido, and I wanted to show you a way to edit some of your targeting. Let me go click on the home here. Edit some of the targeting when it comes to Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido. In today's video tutorial, I want to show you how to use the power editor to edit the targeting when it comes to creating the promote your page ad. There's a little advertising box that'll be sitting here on your fan page where you can click this ad, create it, but you'll find that it's hard to get targeting on it. So I'm going to show you how to use the power editor to do that. So I'm actually in the back office of the, my power editor and I've pulled up this ad. It's promoting Michelle Pesco Solito. And as I go down through here, I can see, you know, the ad name. Um, we've got the ad. The type is an ad. And then we've got choices. You know, do we want it for a Facebook page, for a website, for a Facebook page using a post? I leave this as the default for a Facebook page. Then I come over here to the destination, that stays the same, landing view, the headline, the text will automatically be dynamically generated from, based on the information you have on your fan page in your About Me section. And then you can come down here and do placement. Now mine was actually in the default of just the desktops in the right hand column of the news feed of a desktop and the right hand column of a desktop. I want to be able to show this ad throughout mobile devices too, so I actually changed mine to all of Facebook. I think targeting people on their mobile devices is key to you know getting more fans using this ad because most people are checking their face Facebook pages or their Facebook accounts uh, via a mobile device. Okay, so I leave you know once I've selected that, I've gone to all mobile devices. Now, the next thing that we can do is we can click over here on audience and you can go ahead and add in your countries here. Now, if you already have, this is very advanced, but if you have an existing targeting group already created, you know, you can add that in here or search for it, but I don't have that set up yet. So I'm just gonna go through here and just make sure all the countries are in that I actually want to target. And then any age, well, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. I'm gonna go 20 and up. This was not an option when I wanted to create this ad using this little box right here. So I'm going to go 20 and up. I'm going to you know, go ahead and, and focus on all genders. Now we can come in here and actually start targeting precise interests, which will bring down this estimated reach. See, right now you're kind of deciding, you're kind of letting Facebook's algorithm determine who to show your ad to. So in this situation, I'm going to go ahead and just plug in some targets here. So again, where do you want your ad to show? That's what you need to ask yourself. And where would that audience lie? Would that audience be interested in something like, you know, T. Harv Ecker? If I could spell it right, you know, T. Harv Ecker. Would all the people that have shown an interest in T. Harv Ecker be interested in your page? So you need to ask yourself, and then you need to add all those precise interests in here. Uh, I don't really mess with the, the uh, categories here or the partner categories. This is definitely more advanced training that I'm going to go over in a future course coming up. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the target users who are not already connected to my fan page, because I don't need any more fans on my fan page that are already there. Then the next thing that you're going to do is you can come over to this Optimize for Pricing, and you can determine, I mean, do you want to do cost per click here, meaning every time your ad is clicked, you're going to get charged to click for it, or do you want to pay Facebook CPM, which is cost per impressions, or optimize CPM, which is what the default is, cost per impressions, meaning you're willing to pay Facebook X amount of dollars to show your ad a thousand times. This particular ad, I like to test running with cost per impressions. And then from there, you're just going to make sure after everything's done, you've got to make sure that once you've edited this ad, that you've uploaded it in this button right here, that you've uploaded it right back up to Facebook because you've got to communicate. The power editor needs to communicate with Facebook. Even though it's inside of Facebook, you still got to communicate with it. You've got the download button to bring all the information you've done on Facebook or in your default ads manager into the power editor. And then once you do editing inside of the power editor, you've got to upload that stuff back up to you know connect the messaging there, the, the, the communication between Facebook and the power editor. All right, well, I just want to give you this tip. 
you know, and how to really do a little bit more targeting when you create these type of ads. This is a great ad to run to get more fans to your fan page. I hope you got a lot of value in this. I know this is advanced training and in the next few videos we're definitely going to go through a lot more advanced training. And uh, if you like this video, you know, be sure to comment below, like it and share it. And I look forward to talking to you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.